Okay, what I'd like you to do with this slide is to spot as many has as you can. Now what you need to do is to pause the presentation, then jot down as many areas or observations of or within the slide that you think might be a hazard or could cause an accident. And once you've written all down your suggestions, then replay the slide. So pause it about now. Okay, how did you do? Well, let's have a look. We've got a, this chappy on the roof. Could be a woman, I don't want to be uh, sexist, but this person's got no personal protective equipment, no hard hat. There are no restraining devices, no scaffolding or fencing around the building to stop it falling off. And if they were, you'd have to be harnessed to them so you wouldn't fall right to ground anyway. His toolbox is in a dangerous position that could fall off onto somebody. We've got the ladder then in front of uh, a garage door where vehicles could drive into or drive out of. If we go to the right hand side of the building, we've got a lot of clutter here, a potential fire hazard. The drums might contain a flammable substance. We don't exactly know what's in there, but you know, if they are flammable, and you've got the wooden pallets and cardboard, you're going to get the potential for fire. Let's have a look at this lorry. We've got what looks like glass in front of the lorry, and a cone. Again, all potential hazards which could cause the, the lorry driver to have an accident. He seems to be using a mobile phone, so he's not paying attention to where he's going. And there is a mirror that's missing off the side of the lorry. Now if we go down into this area, we've got this person here staring down into a, into a hole. His hive is jacket, I'm assuming it is his eyes for his jacket, is on the floor, but he should be wearing it. And he really should be cordoned off, so nobody or no piece of traffic can actually impact on him. These are uh, what these calls are for, I would, uh, would imagine, should be around him uh, to stop any traffic coming into contact with him. Now, this person in the forklift truck, first of all, again, he's not paying any attention. He seems to be wearing what looks like an iPod, so that could compromise his safety if somebody's trying to communicate with him. He's not wearing any personal protective equipment. He seems to be wearing trainers. His foot's outside the cab. The goods he's actually carrying at a high level. They should be lower than they are, they should be at almost a ground level, and they should be secure, they must be secure, which they are not. Now if you look at this part of the slide, now this sign actually says, I know it's a bit blurry, but it says, no, um, no naked flames, and yet he is smoking. Well, he is wearing a high visibility jacket, so when he explodes, you know, you'll still be able to see him. Um, again, this could be a flammable liquid if there's no naked flames required. And I've seen this time and time again in petrol stations. It's a little bit worrying. People are filling up their petrol tanks and uh, smoking at the same time. Now, is there anything else you noticed in the slide? If you did, then that, that's very good. Um, I've just gone through the major problem areas. And obviously, it's not a, a workplace that I particularly would want to work in, not in the way it's, uh, it's been run at the moment.